back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another makeup tutorial. Today we're just gonna sit down, get ready together, get ready for the day. We're gonna be playing around with an Eye Magic Cosmetics palette. We're gonna do a little smoky kind of eye. We're gonna apply a little bit of shimmer. You know, just get ready for the day. How, by the way, how do you like the center part? Comment down below. I'm trying to get the center part right. I feel like it's more towards the right, but We'll get there, you guys. We'll get there with time. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Everything, of course, will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's jump on in and get ready for our day. Happy belated Labor Day, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am currently taking advantage and filming a video for you guys. We're gonna get ready for the day, actually. So I hope you guys are all excited. I'm not really sure what we're gonna be creating today. I kinda wanna do like a smoky, glittery, brown type of nude look. So we will see what we end up with, but I have already prepped my skin. We're gonna go ahead and dive on in and apply on foundation. So for the foundation, we're gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 128 Warm Nude. I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery sponge and apply on about two pumps of this foundation on my Beauty Blender or in my sponge. And then I'm just gonna apply it on the top of my cheekbones because that's mainly where I need the most coverage. And then anything, of course, that I have left over, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it throughout my face. Foundation's on, we're gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer, and this is in shade eight. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this under the eye area, upper lip, chin, down the bridge of my nose, and around the forehead. And then I'm just gonna use my Beauty Bakery sponge to blend everything out and then we'll set everything into place. Now to set everything into place, we've applied on concealer. I'm gonna go in with my banana powder. I'm not really sure the name of the brand, but I will look for it and have it linked down below for you. I already applied a little bit of the translucent powder or the banana powder on the little cap. I'm gonna use my Beach Cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything into place where we've applied on concealer. As for face powder, we're gonna go into the MAC Studio Fix. This is in shade C4. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques face powder brush pick up a little bit of this powder and apply it on the tip of my cheekbones because that is mainly where I need the most coverage because I do have hyperpigmentation. And we're just basically gonna set the areas where we've applied on a foundation and we're gonna go ahead and apply it all around the face. As for bronzer, we're gonna go in with the Essence, the Glow and Gold Baked Luminous Bronzer. And this is shade Two Good as Gold. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques buffing brush, pick up a little bit of this bronzer and then I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly bronze down the side of the cheekbone area, down the side of the forehead, and a jawline area, and then bring in anything that I have left over down the neckline as well. So I eventually decided while I was finishing bronzing up my face that I wanted to contour my nose. So I went in back in with the Essence Baked Bronzer and then just used a big shader brush that I had and just lightly contoured all around my nose and tried my best to shade everything and blending everything in just so there wouldn't be any harsh lines but i think i blended out my nose pretty well so we're gonna move on to the next few things that i actually went in and did i drew in my brows and i went in with the makeup by mario master blade brow pencil in the shade deep brunette and then to set my brows into place i went in with the makeup by mario clear brow gel and then i applied on obviously a little bit of eyeshadow primer on my lids and i went in with the juvia's place eye prep eye prime eyeshadow primer so we're gonna jump on in to our eyes and i'm gonna use my big fluffy shader brush i've been really loving this brush lately so i'm gonna go in to to, this is another palette that we used last time, but I've really really liked it So we're gonna use it today and I'm not sure the brand of it But this is I think the nomad cosmetics and this is the Tuscany palette and I'm gonna go in to Flor de Latte this really pretty white eyeshadow and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the eyeshadow and apply it all around the lid now for a crease shade, we're gonna go into the Eye Magic Cosmetics. This is called their Professional Cosmetics Palette. I'm not sure the name of the specific palette, but I'll look for it and have it linked down below for you. And so I'm gonna go in to Suede, this really pretty like mocha brown, like terracotta brown. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the shadow and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it within the crease of the lids, doing windshield wiper motions and then just blending it in throughout the lid. And then using the same brush we were using earlier, go into suede very lightly, pick up a little bit of the eyeshadow, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply on suede in the corner of the eye. 
just really, really lightly blending it in, doing small circular motions. With a more dense shader brush, this one is from Beach Cosmetics. I'm gonna go back into the Eye Magic palette, pick up a little bit of Actually. It's this really dark, kind of purpley chocolate brown, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it in the lash line, the corner of the eye, applying it on, and then I'm just gonna do little small circular motions, blending it in to the corner and the crease of the lid. Now with our finger, and I'm going to use my ring finger, I'm going to go back into the Eye Magic palette and I'm going to pick up a little bit of Snaked. And it is so, so pretty. It's like a shimmery gold. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in the center of the lid, pressing it in and trying to blend it in with my finger. And then with our blending brush that we went in and applied on suede, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges really, really lightly. Now to smoke at the bottom lash line, I'm gonna use my little Elf Mint Melt brush. And this is called an eye contour brush, but I usually like to use brushes like this to smoke out the bottom lash line. And we're gonna go in to suede, and then we're just gonna go ahead and apply it on the lower lash line, blending it in to the corner of the eye. And as always, don't forget to use a big fluffy blending brush to blend out the edges on the lower lash line. Now we're gonna dip our brush, the same brush we were using earlier, into actually really, really lightly. And then we're just gonna go ahead and apply it close to the lash line area. I curled my lashes and I applied on mascara and some eyeliner. And for mascara, I went in with the Super Lash Mascara, which is my all-time favorite. And then for eyeliner, I went in with the LA Girl, and I forgot what it's called, gel liner. <laughs> and this is in the shade called brown and applied it in the inner lining of my eye. So now we're gonna move on to blush because that is very important. That's the next step in my makeup routine. And the one we're gonna be using today is from Milani. It's a baked powder blush. It's called Cocoa Felicita Number no. 130. Love it. I feel like it'll go really well with the makeup look that I have created today. And I haven't used this blush as much as I wish I did. I've had this for, for quite some time right now. I'm pretty sure it's still available. <laughs> but it is such a beautiful blush shade. So we're going to go in. I'm going to use my angled blush brush from Real Techniques. Pick up a little bit of Cocoa Felicita and apply it on the top of my cheekbones. And then obviously in the corner of the forehead. For our lips, we're gonna use the LA Girl Perfection Precision Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Sugar and Spice. And then for the center of our lips, we're gonna go in with the Melt Cosmetics. This is from the Nudes, Nudes, Nudes collection. This is in shade Zaddy. And then on the center of the lips, we're gonna go in to the Urban Decay. I think this is from their recent collection. I will have it linked down below. It doesn't say on the packaging. It only says the lip shade, which is called Secret Menu. So I'm gonna apply this a little bit on the center of the lips. All right, you guys, I have finished getting ready. How do you like the look? I think it turned out really, really well. I actually decided to go in with another lip liner because I just felt like I needed a little bit more warmth, a little bit more richness. So I went in with the Nude Truffle Lip Liner from NYX. I absolutely love this lip liner, you guys. It is so, so good. I feel like it works so well with so many different lip combos. So I applied it on and I feel like it looks really nice. So I hope you all enjoyed today's makeup tutorial, getting ready with me, doing something a little bit more, more of a nude, more of a smoky eye. Love the glitter in the center of the eyes. It worked really, really well. Love this palette, you guys. Thank you so much, Eye Magic, for sending this to me. They sent it to me like a while back ago, but I have been playing with it throughout the past year. But lately I've just been pulling out again and playing around with that eyeshadow palette and I absolutely love it. I feel like you can create so many really beautiful looks with it so absolutely love the look if you guys have any video suggestions comment down below ask away I'm always here to help and I'm always looking for video ideas so I hope you all enjoy everything will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye